Bestie's dating dish. Tinder is all up in the news these days. Uh, they recently announced a deal with Apple TV, and now you can actually swipe on the big screen. So let's say you have friends over, you know, they're watching the big game. I don't know, whatever big game might be coming up these days. You probably would know I wouldn't. But um, let's say you, you want to show them who's on Tinder. So you just pop up your your Tinder, I guess it's like Tinder TV, and you can swipe with your remote <laughs> and show everybody who's hot and who's not. Well, have you used AirPlay yet on the Apple TV, Demona? I don't have Apple TV. Is that bad? It's a little bit bad, actually. Okay. No, it's not bad. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, you're judging me. Well, it's it, Apple TV is kind of the reason. It's like Roku, where people are getting rid of cable. I know. That's it. not good for me, being on FYI TV. <laughs> well, maybe FYI will get an Apple TV app. But the So they Apple TV, Apple you can do TV. what's called AirPlay, where you take whatever's on your computer or on your phone, and you AirPlay it and kind of mirror what's on your phone on your TV. So you can kind of, I, I like this idea, but you can kind of already do it. That's my gripe with this, this Tinder thing. You can do it with AirPlay if you have an Apple TV. So you Would you really do it? Would you like show everybody who you're <laughs> swiping on? Yeah, Would why you not? super like in front of a crowd? It does seem like fun for the whole family. But see, this is the biggest difference from when I was, was online dating back in the Middle Ages. And I swear it was something you didn't tell anybody you were doing it. You like I would go in my room, close the door, like get on my computer and and like you, you didn't swipe then. But, you know, start messaging guys. And it was like if, if someone finds out I'm doing this, I will be so embarrassed. And now I've said over the years it's become more social and people are taking their phone out with them and getting crowdsourced advice just like textbook you get crowdsourced advice on your matches and now it's just even getting bigger bringing it to your television and doing it in front of everybody everybody wants an audience i mean that's right? what the bar is like <laughs> if you're the bar and some guy approaches you you're going to kind of like get opinions from your friends of course you are or if i'm like i'm debating or mulling over whether i should approach a girl i might ask my buddy should i go talk to her so this is kind of the same thing why not get your friends opinions why not at the expense of strangers of course. Well, there's a new couple that I want to get your opinion on. Amber Rose and Val Schmierkowski say they're both very happy with their new relationship. Almost a month after the couple first ignited romance rumors, which, by the way, now she's the host of Love Line. I don't know if you listened to it since then, but, you know, she's got to be getting it on if she's going to be hosting that show, right? So uh, she, they were getting flirty at her 33rd birthday party, and now people just confirm that they're officially a couple. Another Dancing with the Stars romance. I did, an art I did an article on this on my blog a while ago, but Dancing with the Stars actually, I think, has more couples than The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ABC needs to put their, put their relationship eggs in a different basket.